What is going on everybody? It's your boy the Revive King. We're back playing some more inscription. Let's just get right into it. Continue off where we were last. We are... What did we just do? We just beat... Yes. We just beat the Magnificus boss. Isn't there a shop? <sighs> this is four o'clock. Is that something I can do around here? Do I have access to... Is this... That's still waiting for network. That one's good. Okay, so I can't really do anything here. Yeah, I still don't get what the... Uh, still don't quite understand and the four o'clock I don't have yeah I don't whoa that actually scared me uh, how annoying the other scribes junk sometimes glitches in here try to ignore it obviously not because we have what do I need okay so that's this one More junk. Want it? Well, that is Ouroboros, just a robot version. I probably won't be using that because it's really good, but at least we figured out what the four o'clock was for. I figured it was something, but I, like, it was something for, I figured I was going to look for a different type of clock. I didn't know that was going to happen, but anyways, okay, wait, real quick, let's see what the deck looks like big deck right 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 same as last time this is like a few days after i last played so uh trying to remember what my deck is what is it you wait what is it you unlocked the gate so carry on i have so many files to inspect so i'm assuming because we're seeing the satellites that this is what i did the last time i pressed that satellite yes this area is good what's this feeling pride Feels weird. Right on. We're just getting... This one is free. Your empty vessels are going to be conduits now. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is going to do that whole deal like... when, it, Like in the 8-bit section. Where they can like create a circuit. Um, do I want to go straight into a fight? Or do I want to kind of explore? Can I climb? I can. I'm assuming I had to do that. Another fight. Oh, that's what that bottom right satellite is doing. So what's over here? That's a trade thingy. Okay, well, let's just start bottom left. See how this goes. So he's got a conduit tower. Which, obviously, is going to act like a conduit. Turn one. What do we got? Buff conduit and null conduit. I, does buff, buff conduit buffs other things, not itself, right? I think that's how this works. Yes. Okay, so that worked the way I wanted it to. Um, we got a leap bot incoming. Three D printer. Three D printer. The question kind of just is: Do I want to ramp or not? And I feel like I kind of do, just for the fun of it. Give me a nice. Oh yeah! Didn't I just get the? Yeah, I forgot I have turrets on these things now, so I can place them. Oh, this is really good. So I could just... Mm, well... Yeah, this opens a lot of new opportunities. 
Let's just play the safe thing. Let's put the sniper bot down. Snipe you and snipe you twice. Just to break the circuit. Even though it gets rid of the attack that it had for the ramp potential. It's okay. We have plenty of other things to do in this deck. Mm, that's just... Yeah, it's just an automaton. For example... We can... Oh no, I needed my other... I needed that r sapphire thing down. So I can do one here. What do I want to kill? Probably just shield, dude. Mm, let's get one point on face. Because I don't want to be too low. Okay, we are at maximum attack, so, um, so I need, so three points kills me, he's gonna do one there, won't do one there, does two there, so this is okay then, I can put this swap bot, I can kill that, kill that, these move up, buff conduit, okay, now swap bot is big. Now I have Orobot. I'm gonna... Do I want to play Orobot? I could, is the thing. I really, really could. But he kills that, and... This is fine. It'll, it'll do a lot. That'll die, that'll die. Hit for one. His turn, he blows up. Gets rid of my 3D printer, but I get that. And we have big board clear. Gift bot. Mm, I'm doing six. Mm. Nice. One off lethal. Okay, so that goes out. Which is fine. We get Mr. Fish. I could put Orobot, but then it just, like, literally, that's all I can do this turn. So let's do that, and, I mean, just put this down. So, we're doing one, two, three, four, right? Little bit of overkill, nothing major, but little bit of overkill is still welcome. Okay, what is this? You probably think what I do is easy. Okay. Fiddle with the numbers, tweak the graphics, and voila, Botopia is made. No, you're wrong. You try making a card. Go ahead. But first, pick one to recycle. Which one do you hate? Probably Alarm Bot. Mm. Gem Detonator has like a very rare instance where it's good, so I think it's Alarm Bot. 1 SP, sure, I don't know. Alright, genius, go for it. Spend SP on stats and sigils. You get more SP for a high energy cost. Okay, so let's make this a two cost. Two cost, one, two. With, I don't know. Undying is good, stinky, deadly, ramp, detonate, brittle. All of these cost a lot. Oh wait, I can do this. Oh, that actually gain gives you CP. Interesting. None of these are like... You know what's crazy? Oh, I can change the way he looks too. Just a two cost two one. 
I don't think it's an issue. I'm pretty good with my deck. But I'll make a card, because why not? Cool. Big Fat 2000. Well, let's see. Let's do one, two, three, four. Uh, wait. Dat. Dat Fat. Dat Fat Boy. Dat Fat. Matic. Dat Fat Bot. Dat Fire. Dat Screw. Dat. That Toot. That Toot Thing. See, now I want to make him more useful. Just because of the name. Let's make him a. F well. With my ramp, I could do this. Hmm. I could just have like a limited of them. I don't know if that's really that good. <clears throat> Can I do brittle? Wait. Brittle and dying seems fun. I like this. So... Yeah, this is interesting. Because I'll be able to play it every turn. And it does good damage, but then it dies. But then I get it back, so... I don't know, it seems sort of interesting. I don't know if I'll get any use out of it. I think I have plenty of other cards that, like... I don't necessarily need it, so, like, it's something fun to at least try. Trade time. Splinter Cell. What is that, dude? If a card bearing the sigil is within... Oh, that's why it's red. It needs to be within a circuit. Gems conduit. Spawn... Or empty spaces within a circuit completed by a card bearing the sigil. Hmm. We'll spawn gem vessels. What will you give me for that? Ah, dang it. I like my stuff. I'm giving Orobot. It's just too strong. One day, I'll do an Ouroboros run, but not yet. Oi, mate. Look at me now. Something of a celebrity around here. Me, me reward for dredging up that thing. I get to be something uh, of a dialogue NPC. Okay, so I can trash a card. Is trashing a card worth it? I mean, just trading one felt like a difficult choice right now, so I don't think so. The only thing I'd really trash is a shield latcher. Everything else, I feel like I have decent tempo, and like even my cards that like don't have like the best tempo, like they still do something. So we'll just keep going, get into another fight here. We have something when powered. Trif trif the trifecta when powered. Okay, so this is cool, because I place this here, and this completely shuts that down, because I have turret, so it'll do one when he moves up, and then when he hits me for one, my spikes will kill. Turret, hit, dead. See, pretty cool. Um, Is it worth it to take another... I can't play Dat 2 thing yet. He's got a buff conduit and a null conduit. So anything... I think taking from my hand's fine. Oh, this is going to do more damage though. Um, won't quite kill. Oh well, this is fine. We'll just double snipe that area. I always, I always forget that the the way those work. I could play... I mean, Dat 2 thing just wins. So, I think we definitely Dat 2 thing. Big overkill. I have all this money and, like, nothing to do with it. I'm sure you could use this money and, like, do a lot of great things and build a crazy deck, but for now I don't really want to... What's better, Gem Conduit or Giftbot? I like the randomness of Giftbot. 
as I said in previous episodes, it reminds me of conjure cards from PvZ Heroes, so it's definitely more fun. Conjuring, ra the, like, randomness is always fun. Okay, we have ascended. Uh, I can't go anywhere but forward, ready to trade. It just seems like he wants me to keep taking gem conduits, and I don't think I want another swap bot. <sighs> I think getting rid of the shield is fine. It's not super important to my deck. Nice. We get items 100% charged. Bot spawner is 100% offline. Dude, I still do not use... I still don't use, uh, okay, we're, uh, I still haven't used, been using items. See anything familiar? We have Crank. What? Why did that just unlock? Crank. Crank. Crank does nothing. Nothing in here. Crank? Did I miss something? Interesting. Alright, well, let's take the other fight, because the Uberbot's not ready yet. So, we have lots of energy stuff going on. If you want... Okay, so this could... Empty spaces within a circuit completed by a card bearing this uh, spawn gem vessels. So this is kind of good. I want to break that. And I like my Sapphire Vessel. I like the ramp, and it shuts down this thing pretty quickly. He hits me. Boom. Good damage. So, we have Gift Bot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this, because it kind of helps my ramp, does it not? Like, I want to see how... Yeah, it does give me a Ruby Vessel. Okay. So, now the question is, what am I getting... Oh, it's only four. So, I didn't ramp as hard as I really thought I would. Buff conduit's gonna move up. Gonna do two. What do I, I don't think this is that good. Um, yeah, I believe that's gonna do two. I want to try to keep my sapphire vessel. Yeah, it's gonna do two. Break that. What do we give me? Bolt hound. Hmm. deep oh okay wait no but then this is gonna die so double gunner is tempting but it has to go either in the second position and then it dies next turn or it goes where ruby vessel is it does two but then it dies next turn the to tough cell so maybe double gunner is not the play because it kind of just doesn't really do much. It kind of just dies. Swap bot's interesting. But is it that good? Oh, here's... Does this, does this work the way I think it does? If I break this, and then I place this here, does that just make buff con... Oh, buff con does one because it's overclocked. Okay, that's still fine. Lonely Wizbot. Whoa, Tough Cell is a big boy. But... Break that. Break that, Double Gunner. Bang, bang. Double gunner. Oh, we have dat toot thing. Dat toot thing for the win? I don't know if this will win, but this will do a lot of damage. Dat toot thing. And it always comes back. Oh, nice. And we're just perfectly, like, not lethal. Which means dat toot thing once more. And... Nice. The only Wizbot does good damage, too. Jeez, look at that overkill, holy... <laughs> I didn't even count, what was that? I was at 43 and I went to 55? Jesus. It's 
all the overkill. That two thing. It's actually a lot more useful than I really thought it was gonna be. And if we're buffing something, it's gotta be that two thing. Don't wanna make it a guardian, don't wanna push it. Can I choose a different card? Because those are all whack. Can I get a gift bot with the guardian thing? Because that's kind of cool. Is this one? When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space. When an empty space would be... Yeah, this is the one I want. When an empty space would be struck. That way, if something's about to get hit, gift bot jumps in front, dies, and then boom, we get gifts. Alright, so we got a timer mission. And I just realized we have one star. So cool, we're going to start getting bounty hunters again. Um, but we'll do that timer mission in the next episode. Um, for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it where it's at, and we'll hopefully fight the Uberbot in the next episode, and yeah, we'll take on this, uh, nuclear bomb timer mission. We'll take that on, uh, in the next episode as well. So if you guys are enjoying the series, go ahead and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed what's going on. If you like, leave a like and comment dat to thing because so far that's like my f new favorite card uh and then subscribe if you want to see a lot more inscription i'm going to be playing this game uh, like so much there's going to be like videos on videos so if you're just randomly finding the channel or you've been watching then don't worry there's going to be a lot of inscription because this game is really great um and yeah i think that's about it so i'll see you guys in the next one